All right, okay. So this morning we're doing Think Math with a new strategy. We're going to discuss Think Math using partial sums. I still want you, when you've got the three-digit number, I still want you guys to think about if you solve it with base tens, did you get the same as with partial sums answer? Um, if you use the number line in your brain, did you get the same answer? I'm still wanting you to think in the different strategies, but the one we're going to put on the smart board today is going to be in partial sums. Okay, thumbs up if you understand. Good. All right. Um, we're doing three-digit. Um, we're doing three-digit addition, two three-digit numbers, because our strat, our standards say that by the end of the year we're able to add or subtract using multiple strategies. Right? Numbers from zero to a thousand, and the smallest, the highest number under a thousand with three digits is nine hundred ninety-nine. So that's our our standard. And we're going to work on our um, standard by practicing with partial sums today. Our number that I want you guys to solve is seventy. <coughs> this one's going to be tricky. Six hundred seventy-eight plus two hundred ninety-six. Once you think you have the answer, your thumb is in front of your heart, then you're thinking, which strategies, how many strategies can I do it with? We're solving 678 plus 296, okay? When you think you know the answer, your thumb is on your heart, and you're adding your fingers. Let me take a minute and let me see if I can do it. I think partial sums is the best one for this one, don't you guys? All right, what number do you think it's going to be, Emma? 346. You know we're adding, right? Yes. 600 plus 200. 200. I'm going to come back to you, okay? Tima? 864. Okay, I'm coming to you for an answer, so you need to start thinking. Nathaniel? Eight eight eight. Miles? Nine hundred sixty. Tyleek, I see your thumb up. Eight hundred ninety what? Um, Michaela, I'm ready for you. You added 678 plus 200 more and got 692. I'll put it there, but I don't think that you were focused. Um, Emma, did you think of a new answer? Say it one more. Not yet? Okay, um, let's see, Janaya. You had your thumb up. Did you forget your number? No. 764. Hmm. Tyler? 974. And Lucas? 874. Okay, we got a pretty good range. Before we even line them up, what's 600s plus 200s? So let's go through our list and see which is not bigger than 800, okay? If so, if it's bigger than 800, just say yes one time. If it's smaller than 800, just say no, okay? Because the question we're looking for, is it bigger than 800? Yes. 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 No. down our selection just by the thought that 600s plus 200s is 800. There's no way the number could be smaller than 800. If I had just put 600 plus 200, it would be 800. 
but it's bigger than 600 and it's bigger than 200. What would this round up to? <coughs> we would we do round up to 10. Ask the question again. If I'm rounding 296, what would I get, Brayden? I uh, would get 300. He was about to say 290, but then he looked at the 6, and what did you think? Yeah, you went, oh, that's 6 bigger than 5, so I actually have to go up, huh? That's what he was thinking. That's why he went 200, no, 300. So if I know this is even closer to 300 than 200, what should my first number be? 600 plus 300. Nine. So let's see. Is it bigger than nine hundred? No. no. That one's out. No. Yes. No. Yes. yes. No. This is a good guess, but not the right number of hundreds. Very good, but not the right hundred number of hundreds. Yes. These are all pretty close. These are these are better guesses than the six hundred and seven hundreds. They're better, they're better guesses. Okay, now, partial sums. We don't normally round to friendly numbers for partial sums. So here's my question. What's the first thing we do for partial sums? Tima? We don't circle the higher value in partial sums. What do we do, Jorge? Okay, we're going to label both numbers so we know which one is um, hundreds row, which one's tens row, which one's ones row. Hundreds, tens, ones. Hundreds, tens, ones. Now what do I do, Zania? Make a chart. I make a chart? I have to do something before I can make my chart. I'm going to come back to you. Okay? Who have I not talked to yet today? A name. Line them up. Line them up. The hundreds need to be lined up together. Right? Yes. The two tens. The seven is next to the six. The 9 is next to the 2, and then the two ones. 678 plus 296. <coughs> We're lining them up. My plus is out to the side. Now what can I do, Zamiya? Now I can make my chart. And my chart helps me keep things in order, right? My 1's row, my 10's row, my 100's. Something's wrong with either the smart board or my arm today. We're going to add the ones first, then the tens, and then the hundreds. Hopefully we can then get our answer, right? All right, so if I'm doing 8 plus 6, 8 plus 6, what's my answer? 14. Why, 14 has a 110 in it and a 4 in it. And the zero goes in the one column. In the hundreds column. In the hundreds column, because 14 does not have any hundreds, does it? Okay, great. Now let's add the tens. In the tens, are we going to have any ones? No. No. I'm going to go ahead and put my zero before I even look. Hey, class, what's 9 plus 7? 116. Okay, I'm going to put zeros there, because moms that are watching are going to be like, 9 plus 7 is not 160. Right? 9 plus 7 is 116. 9 plus 7 is 16. 90 plus 70 is 160. 160. So here's my 16. I already had the zero there, didn't I? Yes. All right, 160. Now, when I look at the 6 plus 2, I'm not supposed to think 6 plus 2. I'm supposed to think 600 plus 200. 200, because it's in the hundreds column. What's 600 plus 200? 800. 800. We put our zeros in the 10 row, in the ones row, and now I can add straight down, right? Yes. Okay, 4 plus 0 plus 0 is? 4. 1 plus 6 plus 0 is? 7. That's really 10 plus 60, so that means 70, 70. right? 0 plus 1 plus 8 is? 900. Nine. That's really yes. 100 and 800. So my answer is 974. This is pretty close. This is pretty good, but this is the best answer. Right? Yes. Sorry.
That's pretty good. 